At the beginning of the movie we see three friends those who are going somewhere away from the highway and at the same time all three are intoxicated with weed meanwhile suddenly the highway police car starts chasing them everyone gets scared seeing the police and feeds all his terrors to the friend sitting behind and throw the remaining beats on the road itself after this these people stop the car on the side then to highway police officers come to them and ask them to show their license and then after checking the license they leave from there, but after going some distance those police again come to them and again asks for their license, but they don't understand anything what is happening just then a car passes by then fast then the police start chasing them and also he takes those three friends along with him chasing it he goes straight to the bar. And here we find out that person is also from a highway police officer who is also a friend of these officers and his name is Mike. Actually all these officers were enjoying the boys to pass their time, the names of these four officers are Tony Rabbit Mike and Carl and these four never take their duty seriously, and keep passing their time by playing such games later, all four go to a restaurant for lunch, where some local policemen also came but the local police and the highway police don't like each other. And they always keep making fun of each other one of them is a girl named Ursula in the local police which Carl likes a lot. After some time the highway police and the local police start fighting inside the restaurant and his senior John comes and stops them John tells everyone in the station that those people have to take their work seriously otherwise the department will be defamed one of them was an officer named Fava who has been suspended from road duty and he devotes his entire time to station Burke John tells all the officers to make improvements such as making coffee and cleaning the bathrooms but his words have no effect on them and the next day also they keep stroking with the people passing by on the highway, then they are told on the radio that there is a van line near the highway so they are sent to investigate it, but if they go there and see that local police would have already come there. And they have also started an investigation they also found the dead body of a girl inside the van whose body is tattooed with a monkey an argument then ensues between police chief Grady and Tony over the case and they all start fighting with each other again finally tony goes on handing over the case to the local police later they all get scolded by the station head john because why they let a murder case go out of hand and the next day they all go to a baseball game their car starts flirting with ursula and ursula is also getting impressed by carl but then the baseball falls in his face so she angrily leaves from there and leader ursula tells her senior that she is getting bored sitting in the office and she wants to go out and do some field work, but her seniors never take her seriously and keep making fun of her the next day Carl and Michael on patrol and stop a truck and start teasing them for fun, then the truck driver tells them that he's just leaving with some soup, but Carl and Mike coincide to check on the truck, then the truck driver locks both of them inside and runs away after about two hours. Tony comes there and opens the door of the truck after this they came to know about 150. Kilograms of Terrace is being supplied from this truck, and there is also a monkey tattoo on these packets, which was found on the dead body of that girl, John says that this is a big deal, and they have to be resolved soon later the mayor also comes there just to photograph for the newspaper, and he tells that the governor is coming to his city in a few days, and a big decision can also be taken on the police department here the next day. Connie and Rabbit catch a couple who were driving at high speed. Then Rabbit goes to them and starts checking, then the girl sitting in the car tries to seduce the Rabbit and her boyfriend says so too that he can do whatever he wants with his girlfriend, and they just have to let go hearing this Rabbit calls out to the girl and starts kissing her Connie on the other hand finds out that this car is stolen goods later, he arrests both of them the next day John goes straight to the local police chief Brady and tells him that we got some packets of weed in there. Is also a monkey tattoo on top of that and definitely there is some link in this with the murder of that girl and John wants the local police and them to solve the case together and really laughs at John's words and flatly refuses that we look on the other side that Tony has brought that couple to his home instead of jail Anthony also makes out with that girl and here Carl still begins to flirt with Ursula and Ursula gets impressed by him too. And both of them start intimating in the same band behind that station, then the bed inside that band breaks due to which both get a lot of terrors and Carl takes a packet inside the station and tells John about it then John puts them all under investigation because if he doesn't do something soon his department could be shut down. And John also asks father to return to duty by removing her suspension and later John calls Greedy again and asks for his help to catch the smugglers of these terrorists case, but Brady doesn't listen to him and flatly refuses, but there Ursula was with Carl even though she was in the local police, because she did not like the people of her department at all and the people of her department never allow her to do field work and she makes a promise to Carl that she will not tell the people of her department that the van is full of jealous the next day on duty father and Tony go for lunch. But here the cashier misbehaves with Faber, so father starts beating him and so. 
the local police arrest Fava and they make fun of her by stripping her naked and later Grady tells her that your department will be closed soon and further says that if you give me information about the weeds of your colleagues then I will include you in the local police then Grady asks Barbara what do you know about drugs motherless but father doesn't tell him anything and rejects that offer and comes back when Fava comes back to the station then John suspended her from road duty forever the Highway police was not able to do any work properly his investigation does not progress further in the see all this John tells all the officers that his department will be closed in a few days we will all lose our jobs in the evening Carl and Ursula meet for dinner and Ursula gives Carl an idea when the governor comes to this town she will also give a speech on drugs during the party and also if the highway police recover truck packets that's why the governor will not close his department and then those people can show the packets of ganja kept in that van to the governor and Ursula will also help him to get the van out of the local police custody Kosh shared this idea with all his colleagues and everyone makes a plan the mayor and governor arrived at the party the next day at the same time only two policemen are present in the police station suddenly they get a lot of calls about some strange incident and both the officers leave the police station and go to investigate here Thony and Tal enter the station and steal the van and reach the party only during the governor's address, but Tony and Carl sneak in and take a look that the local police has already taken out these narcotics and Brady takes full credit for finding them and then after seeing the work of the local police the governor praises the local police and leaves from their claims Ursula that he had betrayed them, and told the location of the whole plane and Brady got ready Ursula feels very bad on hearing this because he didn't do any such thing, and then in anger Ursula leaves the place by giving hobby to Carl the highway department closes after a few days, and all the officers celebrate their last day, and also two drinks together, then they hear some voices from the locker room, and they go to investigate, so let's see where Faba was wearing the uniform of the local police seeing this they come to know that father has betrayed him, and he told his whole plan to Grady in return, Brady joins father in the Local police knowing this everyone gets very angry with him and snatch his uniform from him and tied him up in the bathroom and then take his police car and go for a walk, meanwhile, Carr talks to Ursula on the local radio and say sorry to him and Ursula tells him to doubt her that those people can still take revenge from the local police and then calls them to meet at a place they all start waiting for Ursula at that place. Then the same truck driver passes in front of them from whose truck trucks were found, and he was going to the airport, all these officers start following him, but father stops them by coming here, but I apologize for cheating and everyone forgives him too, and then they all chase that truck and reach an airport, but here he is seen with local police modelers seeing this the highway officials understood that the local police is in collusion with trucks modelers mean by Ursula also comes there as if they already know about it, and she wanted to show all this to the Heidi. Officials after this because Ursula was not liked by the people of her department at all and then a few days later John gets a letter from the governor in which she says thank you to all of them but despite this she does not get the job of Heidi police back after this the story moves ahead for three months and then we see Tony and Rabbit who was delivering beer and they go to the same boy's house with a can of beer which we saw at the beginning of the film and whoever they had bullied now these. Three boys also started having fun with them because now these were not policemen, but then it has been reviewed, he is not a thorny and the rabbit delivery boy rather it is the local police the governor replaces Greedy and his team with John and his team as the local police, and all of them had come here to catch drug addicts, and just like that the film ends here.